This 20 foot tiny house with plug in electric, spray foam, and off grid plumbing is perfect for those looking to downsize or have an accessory dwelling unit. At 13 and a half feet tall, it is perfect for roadway driving. It comes with an external storage area and a mini split equipped to handle hot summers and cold winters. The tiny house comes with a standing seam metal roof. As you proceed around the house, you can note that it has an electric plug-in for AC current. It also has dormers to increase the internal space within the house. Let's take a look around back. The tiny house exterior is stained cedar panels that are bright yellow with the blue door creating a Scandinavian look that is not found among many tiny houses. Let's go and take a look inside the building. Going in, one of the first things you can see are the birch hardwood floors. The tiny house has an open layout to allow for maximizing the space you have and making you feel like you're in a much larger area. Light switches are located at the front of the building as well as throughout so that you can modify lighting as needed while you're doing activities. Select lights are also able to be turned on and dimmed to create the perfect atmosphere. At the front you have storage for household items you may bring home and want to put away to keep the space clean. On the other side you also have a spot that is wonderful for putting your books or other small knickknacks. With 13 Integrity Ultrax windows designed to withstand cold winters seen in Vermont. All windows are lockable and the double hungs open on both the bottom and the top with full size screen for the summer. Within the kitchen area of the tiny house, all countertops are made of butcher block wood. It can accommodate two hot plates or has the space to have a stove installed. With a magnetized strip, you can keep your kitchen knives out of the way. You also have ample hooks for hanging cups, utensils, and other items. Overhead is a ventilation hood that goes to the exterior of the house and has opportunities for lighting. To the left you have a gravity-fed sink that drains into a bucket under the counter. You have the option to hide your dishes or have extra counter space by closing and opening the sink area. As you look up, you can see there is a 10 liter bag that is hanging that you are able to fill with water from an exterior source. Turning it on is as easy as turning the spigot then you're able to wash your dishes, hands, or collect water for cooking or drinking. As you go down underneath, you can see the drainage system is composed of a pipe and a bucket. When you're finished using the sink, you simply turn the spigot back off you have the option to unhook the reservoir and put it into the sink for later use. You're then able to use the counter space between cooking sessions. Underneath you have shelves for hiding commonly used kitchen items so that they are out of sight but still accessible when you need them. As we cut to the other side of the kitchen area, you also have more storage space down low covered by a magnetized decorative cloth so that you're able to open it and close it at ease. Down here you have multiple different counter depths so that you're able to accommodate different sized items you may own. Up top you have additional space you can use for prep work or storing other items. And on the side you have hooks that are wonderful for hanging pots and pans so they're out of the way when you're not using them. For aesthetic items you might want to have on display, we have counters up high that you are able to put items on. In addition, the kitchen comes with a full-size fridge-freezer combo. It is fully magnetic so you can have cute photos of your dogs on the front and is able to open to the right to maximize efficiency when you're utilizing the kitchen for prep work. Behind the kitchen we have an area that can be converted into a bathroom if you aren't near a house where you can utilize the bathroom. Switches allow for turning on of overhead lighting as well as a ventilation system to the exterior. The current setup has ample space for hanging your clothes as well as down low areas to allow for putting other items you would like to keep in the back of the tiny house more accessibly than the shed area. The floor has tiling where a composting toilet or regular toilet could go in an earth tone. 
You also have space to keep recycling and trash and additional space for hanging items that may be wet and need to dry before they go away in their homes. Walking back to the front of the house, you can get a good look at the vast open space overhead due to the high dormers and take a look at the storage lofts with additional lighting and awning windows up high. You also have various hooks throughout the house to allow for hanging lines to put laundry up while it's drying or keeping other items up high out of the way. Over here you have a system specifically designed to have four separate lines to hold your laundry while it's drying and it's out of the way over an open area. You have hooks that are good for hanging backpacks, purses, or other bags. Let's take a look at the loft setup. Right here you have a ladder that stays nice and close to the kitchen and hinges that can be disconnected individually so that you can take the ladder out if you have small children and don't want them to be climbing upstairs without guidance. As you climb up the ladder, you're able to see that it can hold a full-size bed comfortably with space on the sides. You also have a light switch up here to turn on an overhead light that is dimmable for reading before you go to bed. The windows are lockable and able to open up for those hot summer nights. You also have a light switch in the loft to allow for putting on an outside light for those who may be arriving home late. The dormer windows are single hung and also lockable. From the loft, you can really appreciate the height of the tiny house and the space inside. To your right, you can also take a look at the mini split. The mini split has heat, cold, and dehumidifying cycles. I hope this video answered any questions you may have and gave you a glimpse into what life in a tiny house may look like. Please reach out with any further questions.